Hi there, everyone. So last week I was in Tucson, Arizona, working with a client site. We were um, doing some web training, doing some new imaging. While I was there, I took the opportunity to um, do an aerial map uh, with my DJI Mavic Pro um, to give the client uh, a map for their park. So this park has over 200 sites. It was over 20 acres. And um, we got some great imaging, and then we also did the map making. And with my uh, Mavic drone, um, I offloaded all of the data afterward to uh, Maps Made Easy and a drone deploy to test out the differences between the two of them. But I like my final results with Maps Made Easy, and I just want to quickly show you uh, for my completed map. So the park that I worked with was the South 40 RV Ranch. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Now, this is a Google satellite view around it, and the grayed out area here is the actual map that we created. So, like I said, over 200 sites and over 20 acres. I'm going to go to the full screen view on Maps Made Easy, and I'll include the links for you uh, at the end of this video so that you can check it out down in the before the comments in the description. So, I'm going to go ahead and start zooming in on this map. Now, this map is definitely more detailed than the Google map around it because I took hundreds of photos from the air. And so we've got the park entrance down here. We've got the swimming pool area, and then we've got all the different RVs in here. And if we zoom in a little more, you will see my Airstream uh, with its six solar panels and my truck that needs a paint job on the roof and my helipad launching location. I actually broke this map up into uh, two parts because I was uncertain how the uh, Mavic was going to perform. So if I zoom this back out, I actually did the north side of the park and then the south side of the park. So earlier in the morning, not much earlier, uh, I started from the north side of the park and we're just waiting for that to catch up. There I am with my shadow uh, watching the controller as the drone goes overhead. There's the helipad on the north part of the park. So in total, I think there is like 253 images uploaded to Maps Made Easy to um, make this 2D map. What was amazing, so I didn't fly this for super high detail, but um, if you were to export this map uh, on a GeoTIFF, it's over 600 megs and um, over 60 megs on a JPEG. And when you throw that into Photoshop, you're looking at several hundred inches wide by several hundred inches tall. So there is still a lot of detail, but not enough detail for really doing a great 3D map. One of the items that Maps Made Easy offers, though, so here's my map screen, and I'm going to scroll down here. So what really blew my mind was the quality of the 3D map that came out of this, even though... I was not shooting to make a 3D map. I should have taken a lot more images, had a lot more overlap than I did. Um, but before I get to the 3D map, I just wanted to show you. So what are the available outputs that you can use uh, this map with? So GeoTIFFs, full resolution JPEG, uh, digital elevation models, um, 3D Google Earth, KMZ files, and those work well with the SketchUp program as well. I've tested that out. But so, here we go down to, uh, I'm going to do a private 3D preview for you. Like I said, I had no expectations on the 3D model whatsoever because I knew that I did not fly enough points and I was only mapping for 2D. But here we are with the 3D model and I'm actually going to start tilting this up for you. And we're going to zoom in just a little bit and let's get up to the park entrance. We can actually see the entryway here and we can see all of the RVs and the uh, park model homes throughout the park. So you can actually get a really good overview of the park. And you can also see all of the open sites. So I'm not sure how the 3D maps would help with uh, my clients who are RV park owners or destination park owners, but I can see a lot of potential for construction projects here um, doing 3D mapping and 2D mapping and doing construction progression reports for clients. But 
even though we didn't map this high, high resolution for doing the 3D modeling, this is pretty darned amazing. And as you can see, there's my Airstream again, but we can actually pan around this location and see I'm tilting too much now. It takes a little while to get used to uh, the 3D controls. So I'm just moving this and now I'm making you car sick most likely. But as you can see, even with um, not doing enough passes, I've gotten some great, um, great 3D modeling here. I'm just going to zoom this back out so that we can even this out quickly. There we go. We're making ourselves less car sick. And now we'll pull that map up here. But um, so, like I said, there's a lot more detail than I ever expected um, of this 3D model, given the limited number of images and overlap I took. But so there you go, over 20 acres mapped and a pretty interesting 3D map. Uh, so this could be an interactive map for potential guests coming to stay. This could go up on the website. And with Maps Made Easy, I can actually do an embedded map on a website. So all right, there's a, there's a little bit of fun uh, mapping with uh, the DJI Mavic Pro and with Maps Made Easy. And like I said, you can zoom in on the 2D map. So for the park owners and for the park management, they can make an excellent print out of this. They're actually going to have to shrink it massively. Um, but they can put their road labels in and they can show off their park and their park map in a way that's not really been available before. Even with Google Maps, you could never get this kind of zoom level um, to really poke around. So. For folks worried about invasion of privacy, I don't see much in, uh, privacy invasion here. This is for a business. This is for their map of their park to share with their guests. We don't see any guests out here running around. We had actually made an announcement to the guests in the park beforehand that we'd be flying between specific times. And if they could stay out from under the um, drone, that would be excellent because flying the drones directly over people is illegal, uh, according to the FAA. So we did all of the things right that we needed to for generating this map. And we learned a little bit that, uh, that the 3D modeling, at least on Maps Made Easy, is much more robust than I ever expected. Um, and if I had doubled or tripled the amount of image points in this, the 3D map would most likely be incredibly awesome. So we're thinking about a lot of applications here for potential clients. And we're going to be talking to some folks over the next couple of weeks about uh, new construction projects in our area and documenting those construction projects um, with construction progression reports and uh, time-lapse imagery over the construction sites. So stay tuned, and we'll be talking about that in the near future. Thanks for stopping by, by the way, and be sure to give us a subscribe.